We recently shared a video where we showed how our VIM-201 3D vision system is capable of picking objects off of stacks and sorting them by size without hesitation or stopping to get oriented. Today we'll take on a new challenge, visually picking an item that is moving. We'll be picking boxes from a conveyor belt that is not synchronized in any way with the robot. To pick a moving object, we have to identify it and instruct the robot to approach it with a known tool center position. We call this visual servoing. To illustrate the concept, here you see a robot following a moving golf ball in 3D space. For our conveyor demonstration, the object we'll pick is nothing special. It's a jello box. What's different is that we'll randomly orient these and place them on a conveyor moving at 250 millimeters per second. The robot will then visually locate them, pick them up, and place them in the box you see at the left. We've set the box on the conveyor with the conveyor turned off. Our object finder locates it and identifies the velocity at which it is moving, zero millimeters per second. Now let's turn the conveyor on. As each box passes the camera, you can see its velocity on the screen. If we freeze the frame, you can read the velocity clearly. So we've located our object and detected its velocity without any conveyor instrumentation. Our vision system is detecting the motion on its own and it has the information it needs to direct the robot to pick up the box. We've never seen an arm-mounted camera guide a robot to pick up a moving object. We believe this is an industry first. The camera and the objects to be picked are both in motion. Let's watch. Notice that the boxes are oriented every which way at varying intervals and various placements on the conveyor and yet the vision system consistently locates them and completes the pick. Also notice how fast this operation runs. This is a one meter per second UR3 robot, not some four meter per second industrial robot, and yet our average cycle time is under three seconds. To be more precise, our average cycle time is 2.84 seconds, and we are working on additional path planning optimization that will cut that time down even further. Bear in mind that our vision system is running on an i7 class PC and would be able to keep up with much faster robots. For example, on a four meter per second robot, we calculate that our cycle time will be around one second, possibly less. Here's a surface level view of this operation. To dramatize how we don't care about the orientation or placement of the boxes, as long as the object is in the pick zone, we'll now slide them down a makeshift ramp onto the conveyor. While crude, it's another illustration of how tolerant our vision-guided system is of variation in the scene. The VIM-201 3D vision system will be available soon. You can see how its power and flexibility open up hundreds of applications to automation that were previously impossible or too expensive to automate. It includes not only the camera but also a software development kit that makes our special capabilities available to custom applications. And it also comes with QuickPick, our own easy-to-use pick-and-place software application. For more information, visit our website at visualrobotics.com where you can also subscribe to our newsletter. Be sure to visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And if you'd like to speak to someone directly to get all your questions answered, give us a call at 1-541-348-3500. As always, thanks for taking time to watch this video.